Yum, yum! Hey guys, Ryan Arts with Pixel Fondue here. Today I'm going to show you how to do some hand-drawn pattern brush templates for Illustrator, like the ones you see on the left of the screen. First I've kind of mimicked a branch that I've gone and, and gotten, uh, and then I've also drawn just a straight kind of branchy looking line, and then I've made a little, uh, some doodads. I'm probably going to do another uh, thorn or two, but they're just going to be things that you can kind of slap on and to, to change the look. Uh, I'll probably do some leaves too, and then we'll be all set. Uh, so this artwork looks pretty good. I could probably just take this directly into Illustrator and start using it, but some of you guys might have some uh, issues that you might need to clean up in Photoshop, mainly just kind of exaggerating the values so that Illustrator can pick up on the whites and the darks better. Uh, so you can do that in Photoshop just by coming down here and adding a uh, curves or a layers or a levels uh, layer. I'm going to do curves. And I'm just going to pull the dark down a little bit and pull the white up a little bit. And you can see that's really exaggerating what we've got there now. I'm in Illustrator now, and I have copied the image over from Photoshop and pasted it in this document. Uh, so all you need to do is select your image, go up to Image Trace, click on it, hit OK. And then I've got the little image trace palette up down here. You can open the palette. It's between default and tracing results. It's that little button there. That'll open it up for you. Um, this looks pretty good. You can play with some of the settings if you want. Uh, I normally like to keep the mode at black and white. And then just kind of default usually works for me. So for method, I'm going to keep it uh, a budding because I want to use ignore white. And you can't use ignore white with overlapping. And that looks, that looks good, so I'm just going to go ahead and expand this. And then right click and ungroup it. You can take a look at your pieces. If you uh, hit A and select everything, you can see exactly how many uh, pieces it is. And this is, you know, this is a little heavy. There's a lot of verts in here that you could kind of go in and clean up. So I'm going to use the Smart Remove brush. From Astute Graphics, it's a plugin that I use a lot. Uh, this saves me a lot of time when I'm doing this sort of stuff, and I'm all about saving time. But if you uh, want to clean up your artwork, I, su I suggest going in with the pen tool and just kind of deleting points and uh, moving the bezier curves around and cleaning them up that way. I'm just going to kind of scan over my artwork with this brush, and it's going to do a lot of cleanup for me. There are some spots that I would uh, normally go back and fix, a little bit of denseness in the thorns and stuff, but for now, this is going to be good. Alright, you've got your artwork inside Illustrator, and you've got it vectorized, and now it's looking good. Last step is to create that pattern brush. Pattern brushes come in really handy when you're trying to put decorative frames around stuff, or you just want kind of a fun element inside of a design. You don't quite want a picture or something like that, but you want something interesting. So we're going to duplicate this holding Alt and Shift and dragging it over. So we need to make this tileable. And the best way we can do that is to just kind of move these verts until they snap to a point and then kind of connect them. Uh, so I'll show you what I, what I mean. Um, when you're working this tiny, Illustrator's kind of got some weird tendencies to snap stuff where it shouldn't be. Um, but I'm going to hit A on my keyboard to bring up my little white select arrow so I can grab these verts. So I'm going to grab the top vert and just kind of move it up to where it snaps. So it snaps right about there. Um, and then I'm going to grab this bottom one and move it down and kind of try and match it up as close as I can to the edge of that other one but to where it will snap. And what is, it's snapping to a pixel or something like that. I don't know, I always hate when Illustrator does that, but the easiest thing to do is to just kind of go with the flow. So then I'm gonna grab um, 
my Bezier curves by holding uh, by hitting P for the pen tool and then holding A. Um, you can adjust them, and you need to get a uh, line that's straight up and down. So that's looking pretty good. I don't want my Bezier curve uh, pointed too far up. I just want it flat so that it doesn't give any weird uh, bulges. So now we can delete the copy that we made and make another copy. Holding A and Shift, drag it over again. So now we've got uh, a copy with the correct right side. We need to make the correct left side. So go in there with A again grab it and it should snap pretty easily to that other vert because we lined it up with uh, Illustrator's default snap anyway. And then just uh, grab the Bezier curves, point them straight at each other so that you just have a straight line. And that looks gorgeous. Hit V, delete that first one, and that is your template. So with that made, we can open up a brush palette going up to window and then down to brushes. Um, I've already got mine up over here so I'm going to take this and drag it into my brush palette. So it's going to open up this dialog box and you're going to just make sure that you check pattern brush, hit OK, and it'll open up another dialog box. So you want to make sure that under fit you have approximate path and then normally I like to do either auto between or auto centered. If I'm doing like bamboo, something with kind of a, a line in between each segment, I'm going to do auto between because it's going to make sure that it puts that line on the corners. And then if not, I'm going to do auto centered so that it's a nice just uh, tiled corner. So then hit OK. And if we drag out a circle and apply it, and then take off the fill so we can see you'll see that it's uh, tiling perfectly. Now that we know that the branch works, we can go on and start adding in flowers and petals and things like that. So I'm going to take this leaf and put it down here. Here's a, a pro tip of the day. Map all of your uh, flip horizontal and flip vertical stuff to actions and just set them to like F2 and F3. Um, it's going to save you a lot of time if you can just kind of flip stuff around like this. Uh, stupid easy. So the only thing that I'm being wary of is I want to make sure that I'm staying within the lines uh, of my branch. And although this isn't the best looking design, I've been working all day and I'm thinking I'm just going to call it done. You guys can keep uh, experimenting with what you've got. Um, I'd really recommend copying over any larger pieces that you've got, anything that you've done a lot of cool designs on. Make copies of those. And then go in there with the eraser tool and just cut you off some spots. So, boop. Now you've got a piece. select them all and move it right into the brush palette. You don't even need to group them. Go down to pattern brush again, auto centered, approximate path, and there you go. Got a little bit of stretching. Uh, one of the things that you can do is you can turn down your stroke. There you go. Alright guys, that's it for the night. I hope you learned some stuff. I hope you walk away with some knowledge and uh, I hope that you go out there and get some doodles done and draw this yourself. Um, make some of these pattern brushes and kind of jump into Illustrator and really enjoy that. Uh, if you liked my drawings, if you like all these little doodles here, please take a look at my Gumroad. I'm going to put a link down below. This branch uh, flourishes pack. It's a vector preset pack. It's on there for $10. But for you guys, uh, if you enter the coupon code pixel fondue all lowercase all one word you're gonna get 50 percent off you can get them all for five bucks you know how to make them now but i hope you like mine i hope you like all the work that i've put into them it's lots and lots of hours that have gone into these 
uh, you've got bamboo, you've got different kinds of branches, you've got flourishes, a bunch of uh, presets in here that you can go in and build your own flourishes off of, build your own pattern brushes off of without having to do all the uh, inking and that sort of stuff. All right, I'm done. Uh, thanks for sticking in there with me. I know this has kind of been a long video. I know most of my videos are a little bit long. I do not know how William Vaughn does it. Gets them all down to 60 seconds, but I'm jumping in out of different programs and sketching, and it's it's hard. I don't I don't know how he does it. I'm gonna try and get better though. I will get my videos down shorter. Uh, hang in there, guys. I hope you like them. I'll talk to you later. Yum yum.